Hello! So today I will show you an experimental magic lantern feature which is meant to increase the performances of the current software based frame preview that is used when we cannot rely over the real time preview mode of the camera. Typically it's the case when dealing with enhanced crop modes on my 5D Mark III because we cannot have access yet to the specific Bilal's crop mode build and the best we can do is currently to rely over the DNS version where the real-time preview still remains unlocked. So as we can see the current state of the art around raw cropped preview is this where we get a very slow half resolution colored preview that switches to a faster quarter resolution grayscale preview when recording that helps at least to properly frame your video. The purpose of the ultra fast feature is then to allow the user to switch to an optimized version of the frame preview which is accessible through a new sub menu in the movie raw video magic lantern menu where we can simply switch from the legacy code to the ultra fast one. By selecting ultra fast we are using now a faster frame preview code without any visible compromise as it's currently working well no matter the raw resolution used, the selected aspect ratio or even if we are working with anamorphic setups. The only thing we need to keep in mind is the ultrafast code relies over a small cache allocation that may potentially be problematic on some camera depending of the memory available. We can see also that with ultrafast came a bunch of additional options like the preview style selection that allows to stick to the current comportment with the alternance of colored and grayscale preview depending if we are recording or not or if we are in need for speed or not but also to force the preview to remain always colored or always grayscaled so we can both choose to get a very fast grayscale preview even when not recording but also a colored preview during recording which was not possible before. It unlocks also the possibility to independently select the horizontal resolution of both colored and grayscale preview depending if we prefer a more accurate or a faster preview. And because the ultrafast mode reduces a lot the computation time required to draw the frame preview, I've also tested to tweak a bit the timing processes currently related to the display by reducing or even in some situation completely remove the slip statements leading to a visible increase of the display frame rate. The specific aggressive timing mode is still currently under testing because it may potentially lead to unexpected drops during the raw recording depending of the writing performances and the record buffer saturation but so far at least on my 5D3 it seems to work well with good results. The latest option is just to optionally activate some statistic dump in the Magic Lantern console so we can get more information around the average duration of the drawing routine calls itself and also the global display frame rate as perceived by the user. So now let's just have a quick reminder about how the current legacy preview looks like. So. As we can see it's quite slow and blocky and then let's switch to the ultra fast mode and as we can see it's faster around two times using the same horizontal resolution and we can go even faster by switching to half resolution. And now we are almost three times faster than before. Let's also test the grayscale mode with a first reminder about how the legacy looks like. and then switch to ultrafast
and now again we are more than two times faster meaning in this specific case that we're at least close to a standard 24 frames per second display which starts to be very comfortable. What's also great is that we can now record raw data with a slightly better display frame rate than before, even when going with the same quarter resolution but colored preview, or a half resolution grayscale one, meaning better visible quality. As a side effect, the MLV Play RAW preview module was also updated and can take advantage of the ultra-fast mode by simply replaying the data faster than before. Hope you enjoy this and please follow the link in the description for more information about this feature. You will find then a preview links to the two different 5D free firmwares so you can test it yourself. Then uh, do not hesitate to send me some feedback or to ask for any question. Bye bye!